who's this person? It's Lily. She's part of the gang. Hopefully she wants a balloon animal. Hey. Salutations! How do you know my name? Oh! I heard it from some friends. Hmm. I wouldn't call them friends. Uh... What'd you call them? Uh... What do you want? She does not seem friendly, but she does have a knife. Uh... Yes. And we need a knife. Uh... Hmm. I live on the streets. What do you think? I use it to defend <laughs> myself. That was a joke. Uh, I'm a comedian. <laughs> you do look like a joke. Oh, ouch! <laughs> Zindalo. Oh, man. She tells better jokes than you. Huh. So what's with your fingers? Did you get attacked by an animal? I was taken to work in Green Star Clothing Factory when I was younger. <sighs> Manager had me crawl under the machines to clean them off. Mm. My fingers got caught in the sewing machine when I was under it. Huh. Nobody helped you? Hmm. The crawl space was small. Nobody could get to me for a while. Ugh. By the time they got me out, my fingers were gone. Ugh. I'm sure somebody like you never had to worry about that. Are you done with your never-ending questions? so sad for Lily. That's a really tragic story. And it, it gets even more tragic, I believe. Mm. I made the scarf from pieces of yarn I scrounged from factory floors. Green Scar never gave us winter clothes, so I needed to knit something to keep myself warm. I still wear it as a reminder. Huh. Do you like crafting things? Mm-hmm. I could probably even make new fingers if I had parts to tinker with. Ugh. Never found anything that would work, though. Oh! We have it! We have it! Let That's gotta be the uh, balloon. That's why she'll want the balloon, right? But let's uh... ask about the gang first. Mm. Lenny took me in. Dennis got the tracker out of my ear. It looks like he kind of bit your ear. Hmm. It's kind of terrible to hear about these Green Star people, because Felicity's dad works for them, but it, it's sounding like they just arrest kids on the street and, and force them into labor camps. Mm. Mm. Look, I don't hate my friends. I like being in the gang. But if Green Star takes me again or any of them, I don't... I think she would be willing to betray everybody else just to stay out of Green Star. Hmm. And Green Star, uh, apparently they run a, a gas company or something? Oh. Gas and sewing? My dad gets sad whenever he sees gas prices. Yeah, gas prices don't make people happy. They rarely do. Hmm. <laughs> Not unless gas prices are, like, super, super, super cheap. Then then they make people happy. Hey! Hey, Lily, do you want this balloon animal for your knife? Ugh. Why would I do that? <laughs> it's one of the advanced ones with moving skeletons. You can use the mechanical parts to make a grabber hand. Oh. Hmm. That's nice. Heh! could use your thumb to activate the grab. There's a button here. You might have to adjust a little bit. Hmm. I can do that. I learned a lot when working on machines. Cool. So can I trade? Uh. I suppose I do have another knife. And plenty at the hideout. Uh. Mm-hmm. So, we now have the knife. Nice! Nice! Okay, let's get that where is... Aha, the plushie. We're getting the plushie. Oh! Here's a knife for you. Use it responsibly. Ah, yes. Perfect. This lady is still so creepy. Thank you, tiny bean. You're welcome. Ah. Thanks, enjoy your cake. My cake? Ah, yes. My cake. Thank you. 
That's why you wanted the knife, right? It was for cake, right? Not for evil purposes? Now I'm really scared. <laughs> well, let's talk to Vera and bring an end to the video. Hmm? Why do you want that plush? Hmm. Hey, I know it's not useful. I really want a pet and I don't have to feed it. It's very cute. You can cuddle it in bed when nightmares come. Shut up, city. I ain't no yellow belly crybaby. I just think it's neat. <laughs> and maybe I could use it to distract people. Yeah, <laughs> while I rob them. Hmm. I could put it on a high branch so people think it's in danger. Yeah, but real ones can fly, remember? Mm. Okay, well then maybe I pour juice on it, make it look like it's bleeding. Yeah, but that that would <laughs> that would kind of ruin your stuffy. Oh no. Hmm. Mm hmm. Huh? I don't think plushies can go to jail. I'm not sure. Hey. Kinda. Alright, so she's like adjacent to the gang. She doesn't work for them all the time. Huh? Ha ha. The base is their secret uh -oh. clubhouse. Uh Yeah, right. Lenny wouldn't let you join. Mm. Stop calling me a dandy! Hmm. Nah. So are uh. you an orphan? Then, dude, offensive much? Nope, dad's still kicking. Kinda. <sighs> he was in the war, came back home when I was born, but then mom died. Mm. He ain't right in the head no more. He sees the war around him, even though it ain't there. I swipe stuff for him and me. He sells the stuff I bring home and whatever he finds in trash bins. Green Star's got that whole recycling bottle program thing Dad makes a little money from. <laughs> he needs me, though. I'm his number one recon scout. Uh... Which war did he fight in? Hmm. The Cavum one. He doesn't think they're gone, though. Thinks they're coming back, and that Tyrodin wasn't the last planet to get wrecked. <sighs> he keeps watching the sky. Uh... <laughs> So how uh, did you get good at stealing stuff? I'm the best in the biz. Yeah, I'm just slippery and fast. <sighs> all right, all right. Mm -hmm. I live in an abandoned clothes store. There are a bunch of mannequins with pockets and purses. So I practice over and over swiping things. <laughs> Got real good at it. <laughs> I'm just the best. <laughs> Yeah, but that human kid in Tareen's gang is pretty good. Hunk. I doubt, doubt it. it. Huh. I'd like to see him try to get the wool over a copper. Oh, you've you've robbed a cop. Really, Felicity? I, I mean, really, Vera? Vera, here's your plushie. Huh? Here's the plushie, Vera. Uh -huh. Go get Lenny. Let's expose him for who he really is. <gasps> oh, it's so soft. Hmm. I don't know what I'll really find on Lenny, on Lenny, but I. I'll do it. I'll be just a tick. Heh. <laughs> I guess we're gonna see if the gang leader really is a traitor. Yeah, though. Hmm. What? If Lenny really is a cop apprentice, then what's gonna happen to the gang? I don't want everyone to split up. Huh? They're my friends. Hmm. <clears throat> Look, I talked to them. They seem kind of rude. Yeah, he, he's right. They might seem rude to you, but they've never met you before. I've known them for a while, and to me, they're friends. So what makes them friends? When I was lost, Lenny found me and brought me back to the hideout, introduced me to the gang, and said I'd find a good place to hide. Dennis stitches up the tears in my dress. He tells me I've got good clothes and I should take care of them. Lily's quiet, but that can be nice. She'll sit and listen to the radio with me. Listen when I talk to her. She says she's going to teach me how to throw knives when I'm bigger. 
other kids are like that too. Sometimes they can be mean, but they can also be real nice. Maybe that's just how family is sometimes. Ah. Uh... I think you're right, Felicity. Sometimes people are nice, and sometimes they're not so nice. Just the way that things work. Like, my mom and dad love me, they're, they're always nice, but sometimes they're not so nice, they yell at me to do boring stuff and chores. City Dandy Boy! Huh? Veroff, what'd you find? <sighs> first things first. Huh. He ain't a copper. Ah, oh, rats, I thought I had him! But... <gasps> I did find this. It's a family license! So Lenny's not an orphan at all! He's actually got a family! <gasps> what?! <laughs> that white-livered, dunder-headed fraud! Huh? What's that? Ugh. It's a family license! He's had parents and money all along! A what now? Huh? Haven't you heard of family licenses? Don't they have those on your planet? No. What's so special about them? Huh? If you don't want Green Star to take you away to the factories, you gotta buy a government family license. To prove you aren't an orphan and all. Blah. But even if you have parents, parents, licenses can be expensive. So real poor kids like us who gotta wander the streets because we ain't got school get taken by Green Star anyway. Huh. So Lenny's got two parents and money for a license. Hmm? Thing is, he always told us he's an orphan with no real home besides the beetroot base. Says he grew up on the streets, learned everything there is to know about being a street kid. <sighs> always told us he didn't have a copper to his name or parents to weigh him down. And whenever he hides us from Green Star, he talks about how, oh, he went through so much trouble to distract them and lead the police away. <laughs> when really he just showed him his proper license and strolled back to base without a care in the world. What a fibber. What a scamp. What a double-crossed tale teller. Oh. So if he tries to bully you about dancing, you could just show him in the gang the license? That'll shut him up real quick. Yeah, he'll be exposed, and he'll have to let me dance! Alright then, so we can perform again? No more bullies? Ha ha! Nope. Thank you. Mm-hmm. No problem. I'll be watching when you expose that liar. <laughs> Come on, let's earn some dough! Uh... That didn't really work last time. Um... Well, what can we do together? Oh! Have you ever sung? Yeah. Yeah, Mom and I sing all the time. Perfect. I sing a bunch too, especially when I'm looking for stuff to sell. <gasps> we should sing. Do we know any songs? Uh, what about those songs for your dad's performance? The Magician of the Wild? Uh-huh. Yeah, I can sing that. <laughs> Great, so now we're going to have a singing challenge. And I won't talk, that way you get to hear all the beautiful singing. It works just like the dance performances in terms of pressing buttons. The magician of the wild lived in the forest red. Though his temperament was mild, those who saw him wound up dead. With a wand of birch and oak, he drove through metal and brook. Hopping anything into smoke, of which he didn't like the look. Since his blood they laugh at many magic bolts he'd sent But as a man of magic fought against the insect horde A traveler he once taught walked that path cause he was born When he saw the man of magic he thought he'd lend some help But as the story is tragic when you'll hear this part you'll yelp Before the traveler spoke the magician lost his aim student went up in smoke and all the insects did the same. The magician opened his eyes, never knowing what he'd done. He smiled up at the skies, now that the insects numbered none. The magician of the wild lived in the 
forest red, though his temperament was mild, those who saw him wound up dead. Hooray! That was good! <gasps> Whoa, and they made money! Wowie! Thank you! <gasps> This is the first time I've ever held money I made myself! I feel empowered. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Uh -huh. What do we spend it on? No, we need to save it. I mean, we have to pay for our tickets. Like, it costs us money to take the train here to the fair. And besides, I need money for Mom. Mom needs medicine. And I need a family license. Huh. I see. Uh-oh. Ah! Lenny's coming over! <gasps> <laughs> well, well, well! If it isn't the little dancer girl on her little stage! <laughs> I thought I told you to give up on all that? Come on, city. This was real embarrassing. <laughs> we got a reputation around here. And fraffing about doing your little baby dances ain't gonna do nothing but make us look soft. It's not fair, Lenny. I'm living my dream and making coppers. Look. Huh? Yeah, I only see one copper. Our gang is as tough as nails. We don't need to be the entertainment of rich folk. Hey! Don't pick on her. I made a copper, too. So that's two coppers. Ah, and who have we here? Huh. Is this two-armed dandy Palamod kid who don't even got his wings yet? <laughs> Fitting company for a delusional dreamer girl. Why you? Don't you dare insult her. Come over here. Come over here and fight me, man. <laughs> this dandy thinks he can square up against Lenny. Hmm. <laughs> That'd be stupid. He's got a cane and you don't. <laughs> you think you could take me, Palamot? I like those eyes. Look, I don't want anyone to fight or get hurt. Yeah, well, this guy's been harassing us all day. Maybe he deserves it. No, please! <laughs> Side City, if you're gonna keep associating with jabbering entertainers of the rich folk, I don't know if you should be in the uh, gang anymore. You hear me? No! That's rich coming from a lying rat. You live with a family with cash! What? What are you talking about, you dumb loafer? Ugh. Look how the trick you're trying to pull. Hmm. Yeah, he's not a liar. Urgh. That's what you think. Show him, kitty! <laughs> Lenny, you better not kick me out or I'm gonna show him the truth. Ugh. <sighs> You're bluffing! I ain't got nothing to hide! Uh, little fibbing cubs like you don't belong in my gang! Uh, Get out of my sight! Oh, then she shows the card! Uh, huh? What? <gasps> you! You little... <sighs> Lenny's been lying to us this whole time! He's actually got two parents with enough money to buy a license! He just pretends to be a street kid to seem cool and make it seem like he should be the leader. Lenny? Th that's a fake! It ain't real! Looks real to me! <sighs> Vera stole it from you! See the picture? That's Lenny and his parents. <sighs> yeah, well, my parents are dead now. I I've been an orphan for years! Ah! <sighs> Then why do you look the same age in that picture that you do now? <laughs> and hey, that date is earlier this year. You! Ugh. You have been lying to us! Lenny, how could you? Ugh. Do you kids still have that knife I gave you? No! Wait! This is all just a big misunderstanding! I can't believe you were a rich kid all along. You took advantage of us! Uh, we thought you were one of us. We 
Thought you were good enough to get us out of any Ugh. trouble. You probably lied about being in a factory like me. No! I'm one of you guys. We've been through so much together. I don't want to be around a stinking faker. I'm out of here. I want to be alone right now. Guys! Guys! You. Okay, so now we have made a new worst enemy. <gasps> How could you do this to me, you little squirts? I built this gang from the ground up. <gasps> Who cares if I've got parents? I kept all you kids safe with that license. <gasps> and I was never really going to throw you out for your stupid dancing. <gasps> I know how crappy the roots are, and I didn't want you to get thrown in the factories over something so dumb! You ruined... I I'm gonna... Ugh. Felicity looks very upset, while Zindalo, he looks pretty happy. We did it! Oh no... Oh no... Hmm. Why the long face? He won't bother us anymore! Yeah, but now there's no gang, and now Felicity won't be able to leave home because she won't have the gang's protection, and it's sort of all her fault? Oh. I'm sure the gang will be alright, Lenny will be kicked out, and everybody else will still be together. The rest of the gang will love you more now. Maybe they'll make you the leader. I guess. Let's celebrate. I'll use my copper to get us some cotton candy, huh? Then we can sing and earn more. Okay. Huh. Wait, who is Lenny talking to? She looks serious, like she's got a... <gasps> That's a green sword administrator! She's coming right for us! Hurry, we need to... Don't try to run. Oh, jeez! Lenny turned us into green star? <gasps> no, no! I was told by a scruffy friend of yours that you urchins stole his family license. Is this true? No, I mean, it was Vera. I mean, we told her to do it, but we... Uh-oh. What? No. Uh-uh. We're not urchins. I'm Zindelo Magonis, and this is Felicity Rue. <sighs> we both got parents. Hmm. Then let's see your family licenses. My family license? I'm from another planet, can't you see that? Yes, kid. Yours. Uh... Kitty? I don't have one. You don't? Your dad can afford it! I thought you had one so you were safe to travel with. Uh... We've only been on the planet for like two days. Um... Ma'am? I think I'm gonna come clean now. Heh. <laughs> Truth is, I took his license, but you see... Uh, it's my fault. I wanted to prove the other kids that Lenny was a liar, because he said he was an orphan. That's why I took it, miss. He can have it back now, here. Hmm. So now you decide to give it back, when you're asked to show your own. Hmm. Yes. Why would children who have parents resort to stealing another child's license? We tisk tisk. We just explained why! Don't be so mad, Ledra! Even if you really did have parents, it seems they aren't fit to care for you, doesn't it? Ugh. Letting you roam dangerous streets unattended, not being able to provide proper licensure for their children... Hey! My dad's a great dad! We ran away on our own, miss. Our parents didn't know we came out here. <sighs> Their parents clearly don't keep good watch over them, then. Ruin Zindalo, was it? That stage behind you with your names. Yes, that little stage. It indicates you are performing here, yes? Mm hmm. Mm, performing without a license? Did you buy the space ahead of time? I... we... Ah. Hold on. Come on. You're coming with us. No, please! I don't want to! No! Let us go! No. 
Calm down, kids. If your parents really are out there, they can check you out of the system at Green Star's Do Nest office. My dad doesn't know I'm in Do Nest. I. Hmm. You are now being taken to Green Star Factory membership processing. Once guided through the necessary steps, you'll become one of my wards in the largest factory on Filmuria. There you'll have access to new clothing, regular meals, and a proper work schedule, fitting a functioning member of Filmurian society. <laughs> An extra five minutes in the yard will be provided upon good behavior. Congratulations, you've been hired. Oh no! No, we just got arrested.